Okay, so Aquarius, if you have your ascendant in the sign of Aquarius, Aquarius rising, or if you have your Aquarius in the first house. So when it comes to appearances, Aquarius are usually quite beautiful and handsome people. They are the human bearer. So they have, you know, I would say there's something about their looks that is quite ideal. Um, quite balanced and neutral um, it's not really about the facial features about the person but you know there is something quite unique and um, energetical attraction can be developed in their um, with their energy you know it feels like there's really nothing special but at the same time there is something special about them maybe because of that uranus type of energy wherein for some reason it leaves a mark in you um, their energy and their vibration to the world usually because they rule um the heels or some or so of a person they tend to have really sexy heels or you know it could be that their legs are quite thin or um it kind of looks fragile in a way so there is that type of energy going on w with a lot of um, aquarius rising people now please do know that this is a general blueprint of aquarius rising person but how your sun is in your midheaven can actually play some form of role to define the features of the appearance of a person so um yeah let's say that for example if you do have your tent house in the sign of scorpio you know adding to the information that i i, I have given you there could be some form of striking features of your eyes or your aura is a lot more magnetic and a lot more attractive you're oozing with sexual energies at the same time you know those kinds of stuff so it's going to differ per person and also we need to take the addition of your sun sign because as we grow up we become more of our sun sign so we cannot really ignore that as well so um yeah Aquarius is, you know, um, it has a sign of the wave in astrology and it's like, you know, with a group of people and Aquarius love to be in groups. Um, they're always, lo they love meeting new people. They do have, let me see my chart over here. They do have Sagittarius in the 11th house. They love to meet people. They love to engage with people. They're always with a group of people and that is just how they function. They like activity that has to do with a lot of group of people. They can attract a lot of social environments, you know, attract a lot of groups, you know. Um, a lot of people can really go to them and they might engage with a group of, group of people as well. Anything that has a lot to do with groups, that, that is something that they kind of value. They really like that. Though, even though they have that attachment to meeting group of people, working with groups of people, and collecting groups of people, um, it does not always mean that they let those people into their hearts. So there is a form of detachment when it comes to Aquarius rising people with, with that end. So it's like, yes, I am friends with you guys but it does not mean that you know exactly who am i it has that kind of energy they have their second house in the sign of pisces so um when it comes to gathering energy they're probably not the type to go um to to make an effort for things for a long haul um, they are the type where in they can, you know, make an effort for a short amount period of time and I need to take a rest because what if Pisces? Pisces is, you know, the most um, spiritual and conventional sign of the zodiac. It is, it rules, it is ruled by Neptune. So sometimes it can cause disillusionment. 
So being in the second house would mean that maybe um, they suddenly feel loss of energy. Also, it can also mean that suddenly they are losing money for some reason. Um, those kinds of things. Or it could be that the way that they earn their own money is in, in a way of some form of unconventional means as well. Um, at the same time, this can also mean that um, they can be very intuitive, very intuitive, um, and they can actually feel things and they can benefit with energy healing, you know, doing a lot of energy work. They can actually see a lot of results right there and they can heal their body with um, spiritual practices, things like that. That is really possible for them. But even though that they are um, susceptible to feeling things, they can feel a lot of things, they're not really easily influenced. So like for example, um, you know, there are types of people that can get very paranoid like if someone is cursing you things like that they are the type of people that can be very much protected and they're not really very vulnerable with things like psychic attacks and all of that they they can protect themselves psychically basically but <laughs> physical body issues is probably something that can take a bit of time for them because of that also um with um, earning more money, they need to rely with the, with their own intuition. Like they need to, um, let's say, um, they need to use their intuition on what they should do for a living, uh, and what that they can benefit from those kinds of things. They need to make use of that Pisces area. It can also be possible that you know maybe switching your office near the water or near um, working with um, a business company relating to spirituality or relating to some form of water um, water type of business or whatever it might represent can bring them a lot of money so um, yeah this also comes in too so maybe you are uh, you are handling business in twos that kind of situation so they also have this third house in the sign of Aries. This can make them um, wanting to engage with different types of people. They, t they can take initiative to communicate with people, uh, those kinds of things. Though I would say they have a short attention span, like um, they would be interested in one thing and then later on they will lose interest and then go for another venture at the same time. Um, Aquarius rising people are quite unconventional. They like learning new things, which kind of can you know give that element wherein you wanted new things to a point wherein you are lacking something that you are actually really really good at because you know little bits of pieces of everything. I mean that is going to be different for each and every one of of Aquarius rising, but that is the basic makeup for them. So they like to communicate, they like to learn things, they can, you know, um, they're not really shy to talk to someone new, just talk to someone like that. So yeah, also um, they can benefit a lot with their social environment. They can also receive some form of help, especially when, when there is a crisis situation, they can actually receive help from the people that they meet, maybe their social environment, those kinds of stuff as well. So um, yeah, that is probably why a lot of people quite get um, protective in meeting with, a, with an Aquarius because they have this detached feeling to it wherein you don't know when they are gonna leave you and they can act, they are the type of people capable to leave a situation to leave a relationship especially if things are not interesting or exciting anymore because they are still ruled by uranus so it has that you know electrifying <laughs> fidgety kind of energy i want to do this and then suddenly i want to shift in that direction and do that and you know you just 
Uh, they are full of unpredictability, I would say. Again, this is going to, you know, differ if they have a prominent sun or, you know, midheaven. It really depends. But usually, um, they can be very unpredictable and sometimes quite emotional in their own way as well. Um, they are easily offended at times, but they may not show this to you. They do have their Capricorn in their 12th house, so even though that they might seem optimistic, they might seem upbeat, they might seem fun to be around and chill and all that, that all of those are true. But at the same time, we should not forget that, you know, they also they were also they are also ruled by saturn and so they can have that capricorn qualities in them as well so the energy of you know sometimes being pessimistic or you know um if they are being disrespected by some people they can um, put that to heart um they might not show this to you though but they are gonna feel that and that can you know their actions towards you and reactions towards you can be affected by how you treat them as a whole by and speaking of that they do have Scorpio in their 10th house so um, this is a quite of a tricky alignment for them because um, they can be really passionate about something can have a strong ambition but they're not able to fully express that or fully pursue whatever they want, not very much. Um, and at the same time, there is some form of a love and hate situation when it comes to authority figures. And, and this is probably the reason why there's going to be a lot of uh, Aquarius raising people that tends to create some form of confrontation with um, organizations, um, let's say uh, politicians, you know, government issues like, you know, a lot of Aquarius tends to be a revolutionist or something like that. The ones that really go out there and start something to destroy, <laughs> to destroy and ask for some form of freedom. Freedom is a really a big thing for them. But remember, um, there is a strong attachment here to Capricorn. So if there is no existing um, organization, there is no existing foundation, there is nothing to destroy, there is nothing to change, there is nothing to improve. So they always need that kind of um, existing, existing, I would say, existing foundation about something. It could be a relationship, it could be, you know, some form of political um, standing, you know, they need to change and destroy that. They have that um, need to revolutionize something, to transform something. This can also be a scenario wherein, you know, they are very open for changes. I mean, they are ruled by Uranus. What do you guys expect? Um, they like to change. So you might notice that, you know, they can um change their looks in a blink of an eye also um there could be some form of reputation changes that can happen in their life so a lot of you know i i'm not sure if i have to use a scandal word or it could be that you know people might see them in different lights i would say that is probably the best word that i can use so when it comes to handling crisis situation in their eighth house they have virgo so the way that they should be handling things is that they need to handle it in a very practical manner and uh, they need to check into the details of things and all that to make sure that you know because there are cases for Aquarius rising that they they might they might not show seriousness in the things that they do and maybe some people can take that as an offense because there is a lack of professionalism in them sometimes okay sometimes not all the time but there could be a lack of professionalism in them so 
um, when crisis situation arises they need to take it a lot more seriously and they need to check in all the details of stuff and eventually this is what they are gonna do and also with the help of people um, in their networks the people that they have you know build relationship with um, they uh, basically by their support they will be able to get past the um, what they call this the crisis situation that might occur and happen also a lot of times you know um aquarius rising people tends to create a lot of groups you know start groups start a network or you know create something that can attract a lot of people you know that kind of thing so i i'm not sure if you guys have watched my sagittarius video on ascendant risings but i did mention there that you know you will notice that many many times that the combination of sagittarius and aquarius can always bring some form of musician coming up you know that's really uh, a most common factor and the reason for that is that they do have their sixth house in cancer and they do have their fifth house in gemini so <clears throat> this is a situation we're in um with the sixth house in cancer they can be you know um this is not the most um hard working sign in the work routine um this is a good for family business working with family business it is very important that you know the environment that they're in should be a harmony harmonious if not um they could have problems with doing their their job and their work and you know they can seem very scattered and all over the place but if they are using this for creativity you know um, putting in their emotions to creativity to for some form of words you know because this is usually the thing for um, Aquarius rising people they need to make use of their words or emotions to produce something out of that so it could be through teaching it could be through um, poetry writing or it could be through um, music as well so um yeah those are the most common things that they can have for work and like i mentioned earlier it this this is going to be good for family business because um they can produce more result than that as well but usually they always have some form of unconventional job unconventional work but hopefully they are using their own abilities um, you know using all of their houses situation to produce some form of money because you all know this that you know this goes for all signs not just for Aquarius that um, when you are not following in to your house alignments to what is good for you you will see that instead of enjoying the benefits of what is um, supposed to be given to you what is the promise of your natal chart you will end up being frustrated if you're not following that path so like for example if you are if you love writing but but you feel like there's no money in writing so you just you you force yourself to do a day job or something like that but your chart does not really support that you will see that yes you are working in that environment but you are more frustrated you are more you know bogged down and all that so those are the things that can really happen if you're not following into your own true self and your own true colors all at the same time so um aquarius is the sign as well because they do have this fifth house in gemini they are the sign that you know would like to know a lot of people um, mental stimulation is very important to them they are a very intellectual sign so mental st stimulation is important is important to them and routine can be a problem for the most part routine is a problem so the 
So mo in most cases, they are the type that can have multiple partners all at the same time. So this is where the situation we're in, you can get some cheating partners. You know they can actually date two people at the same time whether you know that or not whether you admit that or not it can happen so <laughs> case close so uh, yeah also they have their fourth house in Taurus so usually they are a very stable sign but um, this is the reason why you know they, they can sometimes do things that can create changes in that stability um, and also this is a situ this is the reason why you know you can talk to them you can communicate with them every day if you wish but they are not the type of person that will allow just anyone to enter their hearts to enter their inner feelings and inner emotions because Taurus is a very inert sign so and it's usually very protective of themselves as well also, this is a situation we're in. This is the reason why, basically, a lot of Aquarius rising are not the type to get married very fast because it's not easy for them to um, settle down. They like their freedom very much for them to settle down. And I remember having this Aquarius rising woman um, uh, like many years ago, she was about to get married and then she suddenly had a cold feet. I mean, she does want to get married, but when a marriage proposal came to her lap, um, she suddenly don't want it, you know, she back off in that and she missed her chance in getting married and now she has a hard time to wanting to get married again. So maybe because of that, you know, Taurus in the fourth house, um, for some reason, they don't like for things to change that fast, that easily. They, they can be with you for, for many years if you like, but there are just some things that they cannot take a grasp on. You know, they cannot just allow anyone to enter their, their, their private private life or I would say something like that they also have this Leo in the seventh house and this is why they can be very active when in terms of relationships and communicating with their partner um, they can be active in terms of you know the fun and laughter when it comes to relationships but you know again I would say that that can be quite tricky because they can have um, a lot of demands a lot of expectations in terms of their partnership and they can be um, there's some form of egocentric attitudes going on right there in terms of their relationship partner and also this can also create some form of selfishness in terms of partnerships as well either they are selfish or they can attract people that are quite selfish which can create some form of problems they can actually create you know lovers that can probably maybe someone popular or maybe a music uh, related to music as well um, there is a sense of shine when it comes to their partnerships maybe they can attract a very attractive person in their life that sort of thing as well but yeah settling down is going to be hard for them so a person who is dealing with an Aquarius rising person will need to um, be patient to be and to wait for them to be ready to settle down basically and that is your only choice in life my dear so um yeah I think I've mentioned everything that I need to um, for Aquarius rising people and where is my list okay so now I'm going to be telling you guys some of the very well-known people that are Aquarius rising as well and number one we do have Barack Obama so um, I mentioned this as well because they she he has his son in Leo so again Leo moon and Gemini um, collecting a lot of people getting really popular in that 
you know, that kind of thing. Christina Aguilera as well. And I mentioned earlier, having a son in Sagittarius, MC also in Sagittarius. And that combination of Sagittarius and Aquarius always produce some form of um, like a music writer or something like that. Could be some, there is some form of writing element here. Like I mentioned earlier, you know, something to do with your voice, something to do with your words, something to do with some creative venture to earn money, right? Nicki Minaj is also a sun in Sagittarius but rising Aquarius. Audrey Hepburn. Uh, Audrey Hepburn is quite near to the Pisces, um, but she does have 28 degrees of Aquarius and Sun in Taurus. Yeah, but with Audrey Hepburn's time, um, I would say that the issue here is that during the time there was a, a famine or something that was happening, so she's very very thin and I would say that you know she's one of my idols Audrey Hepburn's and yeah it's like the there's something about her that really shines through but you know when you when you think about it she just looks so normal but at the same time you cannot stop yourself from looking at her there is some form of attractive and magnetism kind of energy that oozing through through her system through her through her energy and aura also we do have jk rowling also a writer with a son and leo and hillary duff also is um hillary duff is actually quite near to that sagittarius rising person but also an aquarius rising um, also, her son is in Libra. So, um, yeah, that is my list for <laughs> celebrities that are Aquarius racing. I do hope that you see the coloration of, of things and the combination. Um, the reason I'm telling you this is that, you know, so you can actually learn from combining the, the sun, the MC, and the ascendant because that is really what makes the whole look of a person basically and the appearance and the personality all in place so your ascendant sign is really not just your ascendant sign but it can give you um, most of the flavor of what can happen to a person's life and how they can act or react as a whole so um yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video please do hit that like share and subscribe if you <laughs> enjoyed it and yeah i'll see you on my last video on pisces thank you